Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So this is the sort of introduction to a new series I'll be carrying out, <clears throat> looking at say historical photographs, um, most mostly around the sort of the same sort of um, topic in that sort of sense. Um, obviously, British Army, um, doing basically because I know the kit, or oh, well, most of it. Anyway, I can't say I know all the kit. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah. Some of the videos of the intros and cells will be a little bit muddled up, um, just because I have to reshoot them, s some of them several times, because the the software or well, the Zoom sharing wasn't working very properly. So some of them say it's part three when it won't be, but yeah, just just ignore that. The title, the title of it itself, will be in the video when I launch it itself. So this is the main introduction. So the first video we'll get into right now. So I really, really hope you enjoy, and if you have any. Suggestions for photos you want me to look at. Sorry about the door slamming. Any photo suggestions you want me to have a look at, please um, feel free to uh, drop me a message through either my Facebook um, or um, contact through here, etc. And I'll see what I can do. So I really, really hope you enjoy, and let's get on to the video. <coughs> so, welcome back to another video. So here we're looking at another photo. Um, this specifically is men of the Durham Light Infantry, and this is 1939 as well. <clears throat> it'll be full, it'll be not, not well, easy mistaken if you thought it was during the second, if during the first world war, really with the equipment they're carrying, but, but showing with the general service caps and the actual um, document that goes with it, which is just, sorry, I hope you can see this, um, with the document that goes with it um, here as well. So on manoeuvres with a Lewis gun near Basingstoke. So, um, Durham County Light Infantry, uh, 1939. Really, really fascinating. So, this is the original um, photo, I think, and thing, and this is when it's been uh, scanned in. It's really, really nice. So, I hope you guys can see. If not, I'm going to have to record this again for the third or fourth time. So, really, really fascinating, actually. So, obviously, they're carrying both carrying Lewis guns, one each. Uh, get a bit further. No, we can't get any further. Shame. Durham Light Infantry. Um, so they're wearing their field service caps. Um, wearing O8 pattern webbing, the later one. So this is before the. I'm guessing the battalion had got. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, their 37 pattern equipment. Uh, this guy is carrying uh, flags. I think they're markers for the gun team, etc. Um, they're wearing putties. Uh, I think they're wearing ammo boots. Should be at this point. Um, see other men over here with another gun. I think that is there. Gentleman on top of the of the lorry or whatever that is up there. Um, others wearing their, their um, uh, peaked uh, service caps. Um, so the post World War One style with the larger brims. Looks like they're wearing oh, wait, a pattern weapon as well. This guy's got a rain cape on um, with his field service cap. All wearing puttees. Uh, but yeah, yeah, really, really fascinating photo. They've got their um, looks to be. So this one is a, this one's the newer style. I think it's probably a Mark V respirator. This one looks to be the earlier one, though. Um, early respirator bag in, in, use, in use at this sort of time. And they're all wearing like gas capes. Sorry, they're rain capes, etc. In quite a nice, like, <laughs> like Battlefield 1 kind of fashion kind of thing. But yeah, it's a really, really nice, really, really lovely photo. Um, see their have sacks are on their side of their hips, so keep away from their backs and get to them easily. Uh, they're wearing their sh they're in shirt sleeves. Um, that's most of them are. I think this guy's wearing, wearing a service dress tunic, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's really, really like interesting photo. Really, really interesting photo. Uh can't really get in any closer with this zoom in function, really, I'm afraid. But probably tell these probably Durham Light Infantry cat badges. Um, wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, really, really nice photos of the bayonets. Um, yeah, really, really awesome. Obviously, in, obviously, this is Basingstoke, and I'm from around this area, so I probably wouldn't be, I would maybe even know where this is, um, which is really, really cool. But yeah, so I hope that's been interesting. Uh, any more diving look, I'll be happy to look into. Um, if you spotted anything in this photo, please let me know that I haven't seen. Um, zoom out. Uh, again. Oh, there we go. There we go. A bit more straight on. Um, anything else you, know, you might have missed, please let me know. But yeah, 
So this is one, obviously, going to be one of um, lots of episodes in this series. Really, we hope you enjoyed. And I'll um, I'll see you guys in the soon. Later, guys. Bye.